And Moritz, never heard of that in med school. Face palm. Uh, that's a very good question. That depends on where you met, went to med school. If you went to med school in North America, chances most likely are you never heard of it. But in Asia, China, Japan, Korea, most places in Asia, when you go to the hospital, there are options of Eastern medicine or Western medicine. Say in Asia, you went to, um, you just had a chat and you said, hey, I'm going to the acupuncturist. That'd be no different than saying going, hey, I'm going to the uh, rheumatologist or I'm going to the oncologist. It's just another department in most hospitals. I mean, Western medicine's great. Antibiotics, uh, steroids definitely has its place. But, you know, in terms of chronic pain, there's not a lot that Western medicine can really do. Besides from the odd endomorphine volume. Physical therapy is great as well, but that has its limits as well. I mean, I think in Asia, there's just more options. Like, say, if you came in for... Uh, acute lower back pain, they'd get an x-ray and they'd a they'd ask you, hey, uh, what do you want to do? Doesn't look like you need surgery. Why don't you go check out acupuncture? And they usually refer them to the acupuncture department. It's usually right around the corner. Well, where I studied, it was right around the corner from orthopedics. In Germany, France, most parts of Europe or certain parts of Europe, you actually have to be a medical doctor in order to be able to practice acupuncture as well. And there's a lot of uh, interesting research coming from those European countries. Sometimes when I talk to my MD friends, they literally had less than four hours of education around nutrition as well. So while most doctors in America, North America, are arguing about pseudoscience and research and things like that, a lot of people in Asia are just actually better, getting better care. Hope this helps.